Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ellie. Nice to meet you if you're new here. Today's video is an exciting one. It is things I've learned from being pregnant young at the ages of 14 and 16. Um, pardon me, if you're new here, I have a two-year-old son. He is currently napping. His name's Dionte King. And I am due a baby girl in 13 weeks time. So I thought this video would be interesting. Um, I will be 17 when I give birth to her. So yeah, I I was pregnant at 14 with Dionte and gave birth at 14 with Dionte. But this time I fell pregnant at 16 and will give birth at 17. So I don't want to take too long intro in this video and whatever so we're just gonna get straight into it because it's such a hot day it's 30 degrees outside and the only thing keeping me cool right now is my water bottle so the first thing about being pregnant young is definitely learning something new every day now being a mother you will learn something new every day no matter what age you are but I have learned more useful things being pregnant and being a mum than I did in school. Um, I've learned more useful things that I'm going to use in the future that I need to know that you would never think about knowing if you wasn't a parent. Like, because if you're not a parent, you're not going to need to know about a kid's development yet, are you? Like, it's just the amount of times I've had to go on Google for things. I've had to ask health visitors. I've had to um, ask other moms. Like you literally find so many new things out being a parent every single day. Like I guarantee I learn at least three useful things every single day, whether that even be from my mom as she's got kids, obviously me and my brothers. You literally do learn so much from being a parent and being young my development is going to be so good by the time I'm older because I'm learning a lot more useful things now whilst I'm young. The next one is friendships. Now, I have learned that, listen, you don't have true friends no matter what, whatever happens in your life until you fall pregnant, that is when your true friends appear. And you know what? Funnily, uh, funnily enough, no true friends stuck by me um because where i have literally no friends now other than my mum friends um which is obviously completely different friends that i had been friends with before i was pregnant now are not my friends um definitely they will sit there and tell you they'll love your kid you know whatever and they won't want to know you and it's not even about because you are a mum, because I am a mum and um, Dionte goes to his um, other family every single weekend and they have him throughout the weekend and if they don't have him at the weekend, they have him throughout the week. So I have enough time and when Dionte is with my mum um, to go out with my friends. It's not like, you know, my kid is joined at my hip all the time. Even if it was, it wouldn't be a problem. But I'm just trying to say... It doesn't matter if you have that break from your child. You will still lose a lot of friends. Like, a lot of my friends from schools and stuff, they just, they're sitting there messaging me. Oh, I can't wait to see you, baby. I can't wait. When Dionte came, I had, do you know how many messages I had when I announced I was pregnant and when he was born? Now he's two years old, I literally, you will catch me at the cafe by myself, like, I'm always by myself because no no one ever wants to do anything. No one ever wants to know you when you are a parent. And literally, when I then go back to college and um, when I return to education, I hope people have the same energy here and just don't talk to me because I'm not on with the fake shit. And if you don't want to know me now, whilst I'm obviously, we're all currently at home, but whilst obviously I've got my children, um, don't try know me in education. Don't try know me when you see me. Just it doesn't happen because honestly, full pregnant, you will find out your real friends. And if you are lucky enough to have your re your best friends or friends that you've been friends with for ages and they stick by you, well done because none of mine did. 
so you are very lucky the next one is education do not feel like because you feel young um you can't achieve what you want in life so education and goals so i am still going to one day go to university um if obviously i still want to do that in a few years time i am still going to be attending college or doing an online course um, it will probably be online courses, obviously, whilst I'm pregnant with this baby. And then after she's born, when she's a couple of months old, I will be returning to education. Um, having a baby will not stop me from, well, kids, babies, from doing what I want to do in life. I will not sit on the dole all day, um, every day, because I felt pregnant young. And that is how a lot of people look at teen pregnancies. And young pregnancies they look at it oh yeah well they're going to be no doing nothing with your life having a kid young and falling pregnant you're uh, and doing what you want in life is nothing to do with each other like don't let it clash honestly um because like Diante's two now and he gets his free funding for nursery and whilst he's doing his obviously free funding i could go to college for them days so don't honestly let it like don't look at it like oh because you feel pregnant or because you're pregnant you have kids whatever you cannot do what you want in life because i am still achieving what i want to achieve in life um nothing's going to be holding me back matter in fact the next one was motivation and my kids motivate me more to do well in life now than before i had kids um before i had diante i was so i was so bad i was a bad i was a bad girl like i was so horrible um, I was so naughty at school. I was just, I was just naughty anyway out of school. Um, always fighting, always getting in trouble. Diante was honestly a message from God to tell me I needed to chill out before something bad really happens. And now, when I was pregnant with Diante, I made him a crib which my baby girl will be sleeping in, um, and it rocks in construction. I completed my hairdressing um health and safety and then i went on maternity leave i done my english and maths like do not think um your kids won't motivate you and if they don't then something's definitely wrong because my my kids motivate me to do the best in life i could possibly do to give them the best life they could have my son and daughter will be going on as many holidays as we possibly can they will be seeing and experiencing things that I know people my age older than me haven't experienced. I know people that have never been abroad. I know people that have never been like out of Leicester or wherever they're from. Obviously, I'm from Leicester. So I know people that haven't been to even little places like sea life centres and stuff like that, like days out. My kids will do a lot in life. And for me to be able to give them that, I need to be motivated. I need to do put what i need to do in and achieve my goals the next one is don't let your age define being a good parent now i always used to get told oh i'm a young mom so i'm not going to be a good mom i am a sick mom let me not lie listen diante has everything he needs and more and it's no it's not just about um what's about materialistic things Diante literally his development is amazing it is better than three four-year-olds I know I know that isn't just down to me but it's down to my parenting in the fact that I get him so sociable he is out every single day so he'd be at nursery we go play groups he goes and sees his other side of the family he goes um and plays with all his cousins he does so much with both of our families he develops so well and that is all down to being a parent a good parent um if you obviously because if your kid's not developing well and it doesn't have um like any needs then sorry but you're a bit of a shit parent like i know kids that are two whatever and they're not even doing anything that they should be doing they're milestones and it's not because there's anything wrong with the child it's because the parent is lazy and doesn't do nothing with them um I know eight month olds that are walking and nine month old a lot of to, to be fair a lot of my friends um kids they was walking at nine months and that is amazing and every kid develops differently but you being a good parent will help your kids development like 
you doing simple activities you doing things with your child engaging with your child listening to your child is the most key key thing even when they're talking in their baby language you are a good parent no matter what age you are and i am a better parent than um some adults so honestly do not let your age define you as a parent um because what well, i've never actually been told i'm a bad mom like never um because how i am without my child and how i am um as a person other than being a mom is nothing to do with being a mom and diante has never been in no harm he never will be in no harm um i will never let him you know get in any any way of danger i will never put him in that position i'm sorry someone rang me but yeah i will never um not be a good parent to diante i will always be the best parent i can be regardless of my age and sometimes i get scared because it's like i'm gonna have two kids so young um obviously you know the dad is involved and whatever so it's like it helps me out and it is just amazing and i know a lot of people don't have that um so i am thankful and grateful for everything i have but me being a good parent by myself i'm amazing with or without anybody um in life so yeah don't let your age define you as a parent because you are amazing no matter what age you want to fall pregnant if you want to fall pregnant at 14 go and do it boo yeah i know it's not ideal and i shouldn't be encouraging young pregnancy but don't let it if you know you could support that child if you know you could give that child the best life Go and do it and don't let nobody hold you back. Trust me. The next one is value of life. My being, whatever, having kids young um, shows me the value of life. Um, I didn't value life as much as I do now. I take everything I have in my life as a blessing. I take it um, as God has blessed me with my two special gifts. That's my son and my daughter. Um... I literally value life so much like every day I wake up is a blessing every single thing I do and get given to me um or achieve is a blessing I value my life so much more than I did before I had kids before I had kids like I said I was just horrible I was naughty and whatever and I just didn't care about life I didn't care about nothing and now I truly value life and what life is the next one is do not turn down help no matter what don't turn down help and support because you are silly to do that now there's not wanting obviously your kid to be looked after by other people which i know some people have um separation issue issues and a lot of people generally don't want some their kid to stay overnight or something with someone else that's fine i'm not saying that but if somebody offers to make you a bottle take that offer if someone offers um obviously not a stranger to do your child's bum listen let let them do it because that that one less nappy you had to change like you will realize when you say yes to that help you will realize trust me like oh okay i'm thankful um like i love it you know when like my mom offers to do his bum or something or so anybody I'm with they'll offer to do any little thing like the most littlest thing even if it's just getting Dionte in his push chair um because we've got to leave or we've got to do something it is so helpful do not turn down help if someone says oh here I'll have him um for a couple of hours you can get this done take that help like because I see people they complain about not having a break and not having um time to do anything and get work done or get things done but they're sitting there turning every help down they're getting um and i feel that is why um i've got a good support system because i don't turn away help and i'm not going to turn away help if someone wants to help with my kids come and help me out like why am i going to say no do not turn down help that's one thing just don't turn down help the next one is i always appreciate what i have so as i said before about taking everything as a blessing valuing life and whatever 
I always appreciate it. So I, like I said before, so I'm kind of repeating myself a bit, um, never, never cared about life or nothing. Honestly, you will appreciate so much more, not just being a parent. So let's say, I don't know, um, I don't even know, just appreciating things like more, like doctors and appreciating any little thing. Um, it is just, it's so nice just to be able to appreciate things and look at things a lot different to when I wasn't a parent because you don't see things how you see things um, when you have kids. Like there's different points of views. How I would have looked at things dif um, different to then as I do now is amazing. Like it's completely, you would think I was two different people. But yeah, that is the things I've learned from being pregnant at 14 and 16. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, all of that good stuff. If you want more videos like this, then comment down below and I'll definitely do another one of these if you guys want me to, because there's a lot I could say. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, go follow my social media, it's down below in the description box and I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.